The last debugging technique I want to look at is called view debugging. This can capture your view hierarchy. And when it's used, you'll see your current view layout inside Xcode with thin gray lines all around the views. Let's try it now. I'm going to run this program here. This is project 13 from earlier. It's got a nice simple layout we can look at. Here it is running inside the simulator. I'll go back to Xcode and look at this option here, two overlapping rectangles. I press that thing there. And you see it captures our layout inside Xcode. So you can see it all here. That looks quite simple. But what happens if you, if you click and drag, you'll see it switches to a 3D layout where you can see exactly how your views are laid out. You can make it pull it apart farther by dragging this line here. You can really see exactly how your views look. It's really great for seeing when one view covers another. If you're running away, you can't see something, boom, look for it in there straight away. This debug mode is perfect for times where you know you've placed your view, but for some reason can't see it. Often you find the views behind something else by accident.